On the bench today is a Techniques SA5760. Um, this is probably the, well, at least from a, 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 a rated watts per channel perspective, the largest receiver that I've worked on, 165 watts per channel. And it's got to be the heaviest one I've ever worked on. This thing weighs a ton. I mean, I think the only receiver that may even come close to this that I've worked on is one of the like the big Pioneer quad receiver. The 949, that thing weighed a ton too. <clears throat> Alright, so with this one, um, there's really... I, I know what the problem is, so this this came back, this was a shop receiver. Started getting a little bit of uh, intermittent uh, distortion, I guess, on the left channel. Uh, and what I identified it as being was the... Uh, this turnover button is really sticky. Right, so kind of took this through its paces and yeah, see here, hear that pop. So, and this this button right here is like you can kind of see that it's gummed up. So, um, so this will be just a, a case of opening this up, cleaning the controls. This was, if I remember correctly, this one was rebuilt by um, another tech. So. Uh, but I have to open it up to confirm that. And again, I there are so many I kind of get confused on. <laughs> My memory's not all that great with uh, when you're dealing with hundreds of these things that you're kind of going through. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is <clears throat> move the camera up top, pop the top off of the techniques, uh, see what I have to do to get to the controls, clean all the controls up. Um, yeah, I'll probably see if I can pull the service manual down. I'll maybe check the DC off. Well, the DC offset is good. I'll check the uh, the bias, make sure it's good. So, anyway, uh, let me move the camera and open this thing up, and we'll take a look at the inside. No, this one has not been uh, rebuilt, so that was another one I was thinking of. <clears throat> uh, let's see, what we got going on here? So it was. Uh, Upgraded with LEDs. Sorry, I want to get my head in the way. Um, just kind of taking a look at the inside. Oh, there was, looks like maybe there was some work done. These look like new caps. And these look like new caps. These are all old. It's a new transistor. So there was some work done to this, but again, this has been in the shop forever. So when I say shop, it was been in, it's it was a 402 vinyl like forever. Just kind of one of the house receivers. It is for sale, but um, interesting. And the nice thing is, if you see here, I can get to all of the controls. So I will be cleaning all of those controls up. I'm not really gonna do anything else to this other than I'll see if I can get my. Let me, Turn it on now. PC in the garage is on its last leg. So we'll see if that'll come up in the next 10 minutes or so. See if I can pull the service manual and at least check out the, um, make sure this is biased correctly. Yeah, so cool. Lots of stuff in there and it, like I said, it is heavy. It is really heavy. So what I'm going to do now is going to clean all of these controls up and um, pull the service manual down and then I'll go through the alignment procedures uh, just to make sure this thing looks good and um, get this back to the shop. So let me do that and uh, I should check back in here in a couple minutes. Controls have been cleaned. I pulled down the service manual and uh, it's not very helpful. There is a, there's a little section on uh, setting the bias, but it refers to some test points as letters. Like it says connect V, you know, connect one lead to V and the other to W. And well, there's, I can't find anywhere else in the service manual where there's a V and a W. I have no idea where V and W are. Now, it could be buried in there. I'm not going to spend all day looking for it. I mean, 
have a damn picture next to the uh, instructions, that would be nice. So I'm not going to worry about uh, DC offset on this, or uh, bias on this. So I know, I know I should, but I, I'm not going to spend all day looking for that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to say that this one is done. So it'll go back to the shop, and uh, if if I stumble, if I'm gonna look at the service manual one more time, but I'm not gonna waste any time if I can't figure out where this V and W and and V and Z or whatever V and Y point are, because again, there's no illustration that I can find in there telling me what those points are. So I mean, I can guess, but I again, I'm not gonna waste any time on this. So anyway. Uh, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.